Hey Equestrian Gamers, Cooley here and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be going through the Halloween event on Wild Horse Islands. Now there's a lot, a lot of items to get in this event. Thankfully this event goes for two weeks because it's going to take me a long time to get every single item. So for this video I won't be showing all the items and dyes etc but I will be showing the new spooky island, the ghost island, and also where to get items from and what to do. So for this event, this event has, well, will be running uh, for two weeks. We're down to 11 days pretty much at this time. Now the autumn event is also still on. So if you're still trying to get your autumn goodies, you still have plenty of time. Now, we don't know yet what the next update will be, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that. But this is where it's all at. So this portal here, which is in the middle of mainland, is going to take you to a completely different island or a different world, if you will. So let's enter the portal. I'll definitely be working to get all the items. It's just going to take me way too long, so I thought, okay. Let's just do this video and then we'll add all the different items and stuff into another video. So here we go. I'll see if I can zoom out a bit for you. It's absolutely amazing. So there's quite a lot here. These little floaty things are called souls. So you definitely want to collect them because you can get items from handing in souls to an NPC. There's actually a couple of new NPCs that we'll have a look at. The Soul Bane race is right here. Completing this race will give you... Oh, I got one automatically. Nice. Uh, is it five? Five souls? Four or five souls? So if you don't want to run around um, collecting these floating souls, you can do the race over and over and over, which I did do. Oh my gosh, but there is a lot. So one of the really, really cool things about this particular... I don't know if I should call it island or world island, I suppose, is there are special rare horses on this island only. So your ghost horses, this is where you can get them. The only place to get them is here. I'm going to collect souls on the way. You do want to collect quite a lot of souls as well. Oh, look, there you go. Wild Quarter Horse, that is one of the ghost horses right there. So let's grab that one. So these ghost, ghostly creatures <laughs> come in all different breeds and colours as well. So, so far I've seen green, orange and pink and also white, mine, ma mine, 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 mane and tail. So there's definitely a um, few different variations out there, that's for sure. But we're going to say hello to Ghost Item Trader. So this headless ghost right here, he's a little bit hard to see, but he is here. Oh, we don't want to sell, we want to buy. Bye. So this is where you get all of your Halloween goodies from. Now, I did count them all up. I think maybe I did my calculations incorrectly because it came up with ten and a half thousand tokens to be able to get all the items plus two of these dies because you've got to get two of them of course um it doesn't seem right hang on let me quickly do the calculation again all right i, I was a little off so it's ten thousand and fifty tokens uh to get one of each but two of the dies so i haven't got there yet um don't mind my dog making noises in the background i think he's i think he's trying to get a ball I haven't gotten there yet. I am working on it. I think I've only got um, this first couple of items so far. So I've still got a very long way to go. But I, I know you guys are waiting for this video. So I'm like, nope. We'll do a, we'll do a future video of all the items um, once I have them. At the moment, I've only got 1,468 tokens anyway. But with this NBC, you can also get your autumn event items. I've got all these. So this is where you can get them as well. Now, for the tokens in exact same as Autumn, you can care for your horse. Oh, wait, does my horse need caring for? Yes. So this actually gives a lot of um, toe equipment. Yep. 
tokens. So keep an eye on your horse. Always have a horse following you around. That just gave me 50 tokens. So I, I think that's the best way to go. My God, this horse is gorgeous. All right. There is a, another NPC of sorts on this island. I've got to remember where to go. Um, where do I need to go? Okay, so I'm going back to the original spawn area. And I'm looking for this huge cauldron. It's actually quite interesting, the story about the cauldron. So if you have been doing um, quests, especially on a desert island with Ruby, then you'll be on to this storyline for sure. All right. Where is the cauldron? Look at the big moon. It actually took me a while to um, see the blood moon. Is it down here? Yes. Okay, here we go. So this, and I have tried jumping in there. You can't. <laughs> I did give it a try. So this is Pearl. Pearl is a witch. And what you can do with her, now it's not like the autumn update. It's not a give a thousand souls and you'll get a horse. It doesn't um, work quite that way. Now, have I brought you any souls? No. So... How about 15 at a time? So I think, is it Pearl that gives you items? We'll see. Yes. Oh, that's cute. So giving Pearl um, souls will give you items. So I got a candy corn halter, which sounds adorable in the tier iron. Oh, very, very cute. So some of the items, not all of them, but some of the things you can get is um, with your halters and stuff like that. There are other other accessories. So there are auras as well. There's quite a lot happening. Um, so many items. I'm I'm hardly even close to having them all. There, I'm just checking. So if you're on the uh, Discord for Happy Acres, Trick always posts information about the events. Not all the information. Some things, you know, are a secret um, or you need to figure it out. But some of the accessories which we saw before, like the witch hat, the fangs, stuff like that. There's also Halloween candy, which I'll show you guys. There is the dyes in there as well. There are three, four, no, five, five auras. Oh, I'm wondering if she will give us auras. Is this where we get auras from? Excuse me, Pearl. Ooh, a tombstone. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Oh, wait, wasn't that one of the guesses? Oh, I should have went through the list of what we guessed um, would be for the event. All right, one more. Oh, that's cute. Ghostly orange, a bubbling cauldron for your horse's rear. That is cute. So there are a few items, but there is the ghosty horses. So if you can't catch a ghost horse um, on this island, if you're struggling to, let me see where it is. So this is the... Oh, let's go this way. So what we're looking for is the altar. So that is where you hand in souls. So there's three new NPCs. That's where you hand in souls to get either a ghost horse at random or to get dyes. So ghost dyes. I did pick up one, which I will bring up. Here we go. So if you want to get a ghostly horse or the dyes, this is where you need to come. This is the one that you give the altar or what is it, 150? Yeah, 150 souls to be able to get either the horse or the dyes so for the dyes see i have a ghostly blue hair dye so it'll make it look like what the ghost horses are which is really 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 cool especially if you have a ghost horse that has say a blue ghost horse and it has pink mane and tail you can actually dye it so it's completely blue so that's really really cool as well so this event there is a lot of grinding you need to do so for these tokens 
and also all of these little souls that are flying around it's quite a lot thank goodness this event goes for a couple of weeks can i nab it oh, got it because these things here take a long time to collect so you just got to keep on at it i really like the race the new race on this island is really really good um it's not difficult it's pretty straightforward. The jumps, of course, are super duper cute as they always are. So I do um, enjoy doing the race just over and over and over to get souls. But what we're going to do is we're going to hand, hand. I can't talk today, guys. Um, we're going to head back to mainland. There are so many items. Oh my goodness. It'll take me the full two weeks just to collect them all. Now, on the mainland, there's also, you can get candy. So if you see barrels like this, you can click them and you have candy that you can feed to your horses. Now, there is a, hang on, I'll do it. <laughs> if you go back too soon, so you can only get them every, what is it, six real hours? Um, is when you can collect them. So you can't just collect them again and again and again straight away. Uh, you will get thrown, <laughs> thrown away. But these are good. So all around mainland, you will find them everywhere like here. And you can just pop from shop to shop and collect them all. They're also near the, um, the tra uh, horse trader as well oh that's the thingy haha -ha. we do have these as well i did uh, purchase one so i'll let you guys see that here's another one over here so you can run around collecting candy like so just be careful that you know you're doing it at the right time you've got to give it time to replenish this um candy Alrighty, so let's have a look. Oh, you know what? We'll head to my island to make it a bit easier. We're going to have a look at the three limited time horses you can get plus the bonus ghost horse. The, I really, really like the ghost horse. I definitely want to get my hands on a Frisian. Would be amazing. So let's head to my island so I'm not in the way so you guys can see the horses properly. This one is absolutely my favorite oh guys if you want to turn into a horse as well just click this wild mode button over here on the left and that does the trick so this one is definitely definitely my favorite so this is the blood moon thoroughbred i believe it is called and oh my gosh look at the detailing there's bats and a gravestones and then on the other side you've got the blood moon of course, naturally, I love it because there's purple and there's stars. So, absolutely love this horse. This one is the Spiderweb Appaloosa. Is that correct? Yes, Spiderweb Appaloosa. I really, really, really like this one. So, this is the one that gave me a lot of trouble trying to get. Um, it just decided that it wanted to hide from me <laughs> for days. But I was very, very lucky. I did find it um, in the store for tokens. So I spent all my tokens on this guy here. I think it's absolutely adorable. It's just got those, like, it's not completely covered in details. It's just got a few specific details that look very, very nice and clean, very neat. It's an absolutely beautiful horse. I really, really do like those ones. But this one, oh my goodness, this is a skeleton Arabian and it is unreal. It is so good. Look at its face. I love its face. They absolutely picked the perfect breed to be a skeleton horse. It's just incredible. I love, 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 love the detailing. It looks so, so good especially because it's got white hooves as well. Oh, just perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. 
So out of all of them, I don't know. I do really, really like the Blood Moon Thoroughbred, but this one, oh, they're pretty close. Honestly, pretty close. All of the event horses, um, even the ghost horses, magnificent job. Like, I love all of them. They are so, so good. So yes, Skeleton Arabian, and they're the ones you can catch in the wild or get for tokens or Robux in the stores. But let's have a look, like a closer look at the ghosty horse. So this is one of the ghost horses. Now the ghostly horses, again, come in every breed and they do come in different colors. So this is an Andalusian with an orange body and green mane and tail. And they're just so cool. I didn't actually think um, a ghost horse would be possible. Like, I didn't even know this could be a thing. But, oh my goodness, I'm so glad it is. It is absolutely magnificent. Really, really, really do love these ones as well. Just overall, such an amazing event. What we're going to do is I'm going to grab... Shall I grab the Skeleton Arabian, I think? I don't know where any of my horses are anymore. Oh my goodness. I put a lot onto an alt account so I had room. Oh, here we go. So I'm going to have to organize it one day. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the wagon. So what my horse needs is a driving harness first. What have I got? I've got red, pink, and orange. Let's go with orange. Pumpkin orange. There we go. And then we can go with the vehicle. Cauldron carriage. A massive cauldron on wheels that your horse can pull seats free passengers. Whoops. There we go. Oh my goodness. Isn't that cool? Look at the bubbles. Oh my goodness. All right. If I, I wonder, oh, can I hop in the back? I probably can't, can I? Oh, yes, I can. Ha ha. So you can actually have people sitting in the cauldron. I think it's really, really cool. You can have someone at the back as well. And then naturally you have the rider. Rider? Driver. I think that is very, very cool. Oh my gosh. Even the candles on it. Perfect, perfect thing for Halloween. I think it's going to be really, really cool um, actually on the day of Halloween to see people going around like with these and trick-or-treating and like dressing up all spooky and riding their spooky horses. I think it'll be really, really cool. I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to see if I can find some sort of costume to wear and just run around on public service uh, trying to be spooky, <laughs> which I will probably fail at miserably, but I think it'll be quite fun. So running through the list of what Trick put up, um, because I do not have the items, I have hardly anything so far, but running through the list, so for your auras, so everything we haven't, like I haven't been able to show you so far, in the auras there is a bat aura, so correct about that guess, and a ghost aura, another correct guess, a candy aura, which comes in multiple variations, including lollipop, wrapped candy, candy corn, and a mix of any of these. Floating Candle Aura, which comes in multiple flame colours. Can't wait to see that one. And a Spider Web Aura. So for your halters, there is Candy Corn Halter, a Candy Corn Pattern, which uh, we just saw, that, so that's from Pearl. There's also a Bat Halter and a Bat Pattern, also from Pearl. So if you're after those halters, definitely hit up Pearl. Um, I'm going to be giving a lot of souls to her just to get as many different accessories and items as I can. But there is also four different horse, h horse, no, hoof trails. <laughs> I can't English today. Orange and black hoof trails. There's also a chain hoof trail, which sounds amazing. And a ghostly green one. So definitely going to figure out how to get my hands on those ones and collect them as well. I think that'll be a lot of fun so we have seen i was able to show you just where the race is um and also all the three limited horses and the ghost horses as well and i think 
that roughly covers everything. I am so sorry for not having um, as many items. I usually like to have all the items, uh, but it's taken me quite a while. So keep an eye out for future videos. Um, I will do quick little videos showing each and every item once I have them collected. There is still like 11 days just under 11 days for the event so plenty of time for you guys to collect everything all guys i shall leave this video here and i'll catch you all in the next one